Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch figure review. This time we've got Sabine Wren from Star Wars Rebels. I just wanted to put chuck a, chuck a different video in between all the Rogue Ones, all the Rogue One videos that I'm doing. Um, so I'll do a couple, I'll go back and do a couple more Rogue One videos after this. But um, yeah, I got the new wave last week, which you know, by the time I upload this is probably another week. Um, and I was really impressed with this figure. This is probably my favourite of the wave. Um, Leia was great. The Snowtrooper and AT-AT driver are great. Revan's rad. But this one just takes the cake for me. And oh, I just want the rest of the Rebel crew now. I know we've got Hera coming as well. Um, we've had Kanan and Ahsoka. If you really want to count Ahsoka as part of the Rebels crew. But yeah, we, I want the rest now. The, this what they've done with Sabine here is awesome and uh, yeah we'll go through it so um, accessory wise um, oh firstly this is based on her season one appearance and we'll go through all those little intricacies later accessory wise she comes with her little spray paint gun I guess it's like an airbrush sort of device I'll move her out of the way so I can actually focus on what I'm doing here. So that's cool, holds well in her hands. Not a great deal of detail to it. But it fits nicely in a holster so she can still hold her two blasters. And then she's got two of these Mandalorian blasters. I can't remember the name for them but we've seen a lot of these in the smaller versions, um, the three and three quarter inch, particularly with uh, Pre Vizsla and the Death Watch guys from the Clone Wars series. So um, it's cool that we're seeing these blasters back. Well, nicely, nicely coloured. Again, pretty sleek looking weapon. And they do fit nicely in her holster, which is nice. So yeah, two of them. She also has a removable helmet, which looks really nicely done. I'm not sure if it's coming up on camera, but um, the way they've painted it makes it look like it's been painted by her. Um, there's just a cool couple of scratch marks on the back of the helmet there. Hopefully the light's picking up the the different little patterns in there. And the best thing, and I wish they did this with Django and Boba. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. The little scanner flips up and down. That rules. Thank you, Hasbro. Do it again, please. <laughs> oh, that, that's sick. I really, really like that. Um, but yeah, that's a really cool helmet design. It's the first figure we've got with the sort of, um, what are they calling that helmet? Sort of an owl or something, I can't remember. But Bo Katan had the same sort of helmet. But on to the rest of Sabine. This, this is. She rules. I'm, I've seen a couple that have had a bit dodgy paint. I'm glad I got a good one. I'll try my best to zoom up. Now her eyes aren't perfect, but they're pretty damn good. I've seen a few that are sl that are that are average, um, but I, 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 I really like her hair. I think that looks good too. I think they've done a really good job of bringing an animated character to life. This is, yeah, this is exactly what I'd expect. Um, no doubt the. The Lucasfilm story group had a bit of say on what she looks like in real life, um, which which is awesome. Um, I personally like her with the helmet on. I think it looks a lot cooler. I just really like that Mando helmet, and uh, yeah, just the colour looks good. But yeah, the hair and head sculpt is really nicely done. 
this shoulder armor this 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 stuff rocks this stuff just absolutely rocks my socks off the sort of checkered armor there that she's painted herself to the chest armor sort of got the rebel phoenix there and there's all these little silver bits of weathering in amongst there where she's had it knocked around and her armor's been bashed around and got Dave Filoni's little wolf on the side there which is cool and it just it, it looks like she's painted herself I just I just think it's great and where they've done the ab joint it just fits in perfectly underneath that chest armor and you can't even see it turn it to the side looks good just the aesthetics of this figure is really really good she's got some more paint details so to see the paint flecks where she's been spray painting and on the other arm there and of course on her boots the shin armor down there on top of the feet How cool is that? I'm a big fan of this figure. I think she's becoming a bigger fan of her character too, the more we get to see of her. So on the back, it's got a little little comic there. Small bits of armor on the elbows. We're back on now. It slots on quite nicely. Um, I'm just going to just heat that up into some warm water and put it on there just so it sort of fits a little bit nicer. Doesn't look too bad actually at the moment. I remember Django's was a little bit and made it look, make his head look a little bit wide, but this is pretty good. Uh, articulation for the figure, including the helmet. Dun, 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 dun. That's my favourite. Um, she's got a ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, and the armor's got a nice flex in it, so you can get that arm up without inhibiting that. It doesn't inhibit the armor too much, whereas if that was a harder plastic, you wouldn't get the arm up and around. And she's got a single elbow, which you get a nice bit further than so a bit, bit further than 90 degree bend, which is good. She's got the wrists. That awesome tor upper torso joint that I told you about before. It's got the hips, which look nice. Ball, uh, the swivel cut thighs, double joints in the knees, and ball hinged ankles. So just a kick-ass figure. Um, and yeah, come on, Hasbro, just give us the rest. We want them. I want them. If you only make them for me, I'll be happy. But yeah, Sabine is is. A wicked figure. Get a hold of this one. This will be a, one of your favourites. So yeah, we've got Hera coming soon. And yeah, <laughs> she's got peg holes, so she does stand up if you want it to. If you want to use a stand, but it's not too bad. I've just got the air conditioner blowing above. Um, so I could have just blown her over. She's alright now. <laughs> Yeah, we've got Hera coming. Hopefully they give us Zeb, Ezra, Chopper. That'll be wicked. Um, and I'll take an old Rex too. <laughs> just for just for giggles. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I hope it has been informative. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until my next one, may the force be with you.